Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Master Andy. I'm Ian Butterfield. And today we're playing a spin off of a popular Capcom series. Uh, we're checking out Gargoyle's Quest on Game Boy. Now, this game is a spin off of Capcom's Ghosts and Goblins series. Oh, it has nothing to do with the 90s cartoon show? About no, Gargoyles? no, no, nothing to do with the Gargoyles. Uh, oh. There was a Gargoyles video game. Don't believe it was by Capcom. Yeah, no, they did not work on it. But it is, uh, in Japan, it's called uh, Red Armor Makai Mura Gaiden. Because uh, in Japan, the Ghost and Goblin series is Makai Mura, which is like uh, Demon World Village. Demon World Village? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, the first in uh, a series of three games. Uh, the following games were Gargoyle's Quest Two which came out on NES and Game Boy. We only got the NES version in America. And Demon's Crest on Super Nintendo. Yeah. So you know, in this game, you uh, play as uh, your character is known as Firebrand, but he is uh, one of the red armor enemies from uh, Ghosts and Goblins, which we'll probably see at one point because we're almost certainly... Uh, uh, there's this game seems to be pretty mysterious. There's not like a lot of info about its development. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I'm sure I could talk about about Ghosts and Goblins, but I'd like to save that for when we're playing one of those games because we probably will at some point. But this is uh, set in good, the same universe. Um, of course, his enemy is also he's playable in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Nice. Nice. You can play as this character. Uh, I don't know if he did actually direct it, but, uh, I mean, I don't know where they got this information from, but supposedly the producer is Togoro Fujiwara, who created Ghost and Goblins. I don't know if that's actually the case, though, because this game doesn't have any credits. Yeah, what? There, there's no credits when you beat the game. It just ends. It's just like, ta-da! Yeah, it's like, done. Uh, it is apparently set 1,000 years before Ghost and Goblins. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah. On that, I do know that uh, the music was composed by uh, Harumi Fujita. Well, I guess you know also worked on some other Capcom stuff. Uh, other than that, one couple tidbits I did manage to find out. Um, these are you know just things about the Red Armor enemy that I found in some Ghosts and Goblins interviews, which I since we're playing as one, I thought would be relevant. Uh, he was actually the red armor, you know, this, uh, one of the uh, first character design, actually. Since they had the, like, the, uh, the theme of like a demon world, they went with a really, really orthodox, you know, what is a really like Western idea of a demon, what do they look like? And, you know, they came up with like really standard, like, you know, gargoyle gar gar looking thing. And actually, uh, well, they, they had, you know, designed the character. And they're, you know, trying to come up with a name for it. And they, uh, I guess somebody thought it kind of looked like uh, one of the programmers, uh, Toshio Arima. So it's the red Arima. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So they actually named this enemy after one of the employees at the company. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, so that's, that's amusing. And that's about it. Yeah. Well, then. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, very common. There's a lot of, you can find a lot of examples of uh, well, characters being named after people who worked on. Well, there's the, the that, or... rumor that Kirby was named after the lawyer that uh, yes. helped Nintendo with the whole Donkey Kong King Kong case. Yes, uh, we we actually mentioned that when uh. we played Kirby. Oh, Kirby. Yeah. In our yes. one year anniversary spectacular, which wasn't actually, you know. We don't actually mention this one-year anniversary spectacular because we didn't know we were going to run it on our one-year anniversary when we were recording it. <laughs> well, it's one of the few games we've ever actually beaten all the way through on an yes, episode, so there yes, is that. Yeah, so that was that was pretty spectacular. Yeah, and it was Kirby, so it's always spectacular. There you go, get a little Kirby dance going. But it also technically sucks. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. So um, we don't have much else to say. So I let's play, play the, the game. game. Yeah. Woo!
a long time ago. Hey! The ghoul realm barely escaped great peril. A large army of destroyers came from a neighboring universe. The creatures of the ghoul realm were no match for the powerful destroyers. Just when everyone had given up hope, a great fire swept over the realm, wiping out the destroyer's army. Several hundred years have passed, and the realm is threatened once again. Yeah, it's a little uh, fire border there. Pretty nifty. Yeah, that's fine. So we basically just had a Star Wars opening crawl. Yeah, yeah. It started with a long time ago, in a place, and it was an opening crawl to music. All right, so you know you got a password, so you can uh, pick up where you left off. We're just gonna start a new game. So we got uh, these guys here, kind of wandered in one after the other. This always really struck me as odd. It's like they want walk in one at a time, and then die right in front of you. Yeah, and then the bodies just disappear. Yeah. All right, so we're basically right from here. Uh, before I walk on all this, we have like a little standard RPG style uh, menu. I can take the level, which will show me any like power ups and such I have. I do have a talisman, I guess. I start with a talisman. If only. Yeah, but that's not useful because it's gonna be skipping parts of the game. No, begin with extra items and boosted attributes. Oh. Well, if we're having trouble, we can pop that. So, as you, well, you, you uh, travel with that overhead view, the rest of the time you've got... Uh, side you're scroll. Actually, yeah, you're actually fighting things as a standard side-scrolling stage. And this game is actually pretty tough. Well, try not to spend too much time on the first stage. Yeah, I know. That would be really awkward if, like, yeah. most of our playthrough was all on the first stage. Yeah, no, that would be bad. Uh, this file, I'm pretty sure I, I'm not going to go after it because I do not have enough wing power to reach it yet. Uh, so, this, the L is probably pretty self-explanatory. That's your life. Uh, I start off with two hits. The W is your wing power. Now, people have noticed that uh, you can hover by pressing the jump button again when you're already in the air. And uh, the W meter is basically telling you how long you can uh, hover. So we're gonna climb up this tree. You also see that uh, Firebrand has the ability to grab the sides of surfaces and jump off them. Uh, that heart just refills your health since they have full health. I'm not going to jump over the spikes to get it. I hope everyone can understand. And then there's the flying in north bats. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, we've got uh, some uh, guys in cheats here. Get some uh, KKK members. Yeah, I seem to be fighting the KKK. I think we all need to fight the KKK. Yeah, they're jerks. Not a big fan. I'm also not going to try to collect that vial because I don't actually remember what they do. So I'm, I'm not going like super out, really, super out of my way to collect them. Especially because I just got hit that flame thing trying to get on top of this platform. Right, so you know, a big part of playing this game is figuring out when to hover and when to stop hovering. You know, like right from the the. Wow, I hate the spikes. Oy vey. Yeah, I tried to go back because uh, there was a uh, KKK member right there, but uh, I, I landed right on the right into the spikes. They seem to have a pretty big hitbox. Yeah, stupidly large. And then they make you go full Death Star. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like I did make it to the midway point of the stage, so I'm not going to have to start over right in the beginning. Let's see if I can kill this flame thing this time without uh, taking a hit. There we go. I did it. One of the spikes here. Oh, I thought I was lined up with that guy, but apparently I wasn't. It's fun. Come on, this guy here. Oh, there I hit him. Yay! Alrighty, you did. Click that vial and float in midair. 
I'm gonna just dodge these guys. Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about those vials because really I'm not gonna be continuing from this game. Nah. This is just for demonstration purposes. And to be fair, if we need vials, we can just, you know, cheat code it. Yeah, we've, uh, there are some passwords, so I think there are passwords that will start us right at the beginning of the game with lots of stuff. So here's the first boss. Like if we put in Zelda as our name. <laughs> that actually makes the game harder. Really? Oh, big. Yeah, Zelda puts you at the second quest, which is, you know, harder than the, original, the first quest. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh dear. Oh. 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 Well, I did learn something important. I've Fish heard... monsters monsters make you go full Death Star. Yeah. Uh, that, but also the um, the uh, it looked like the uh, goo doesn't immediately kill you. Interesting. Yeah. So that's uh, that was useful. And you had to go all the way back to the beginning. I do. It's awkward. To get back from the start, must be losing my mind. Are you blind? So when you're in the stage, you get this little thing that shows you how many vials you have. Vials of levels. question how many, mark. How many lives you have. Uh, it looks like this is one of those games that has zero lives because uh, I seem to have two. It's telling me after I just uh, restarted that I have one. I think I can shoot through this wall. You know Man, get you. Let me get you. Get you, sucker. You know, Firebrand is a champion for equal demon rights. Well, of course. Yeah, he doesn't doesn't appreciate the KKK in his neighborhood. I feel like there might be something down there, but I just I, I don't really. Just want meh. It. Yeah. Who cares? <sighs> Awkward. I didn't think I was close enough to the spikes to hit him, but apparently I was. I hate those spikes. They're such an annoyance. Wow. Wow. This is just not going well. Oy vey. But fortunately, I did hit a midpoint, so I don't have to start over from the beginning. Yippee. Yeah, no, I do seem to be down to one life. Come on, you can do this. I can. I've done it before. I don't this go a little. Don't go full Death Star. Don't go full Death Star. All right, looks like I did hit the uh, KKK guy. There's another one here. I gotta let him walk in a little. And, uh... There we go. I beat the super creepy uh, spider bat thing. I mean, seriously, those things are horrifying. Yeah, Onorith shouldn't be able to fly. You don't know what I mean when I'm saying Onorith. No, I'm not familiar with it's that It's a Pokemans. Pokemon. It's a... Uh, I'm not familiar with that one. Third generation, one of the fossil Pokemon. Yeah, well, we have already established on the show that uh, I played first generation, and that was that. Yeah, you didn't exactly even finish first generation. No, I got super bored. Oh, oh, he's coming down right on top of me. Wow. Oy vey. Okay. I think it might be time to cheat code it. Because I don't think anyone wants, wants to see us get stuck on uh, this fish boss here. What uh, cheat code do we want? Let's just... Uh, like extra stuff? Yeah, probably just extra stuff unless we literally use... all Fs. That'll start us from the beginning, but yeah. with extra items and boosted attributes. Yeah, so that'll make it so a little So you should be able to just like fly through it. <laughs> fly uh, through it. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. So I'm at the first village. Nice. Yeah, there's a there's a little overhead segment uh, prior to that. All right. So it looks like you've uh, I've accepted the uh, first quest here too. So this is uh, okay. Yeah, this is basically the first point in which you can say that makes sense. And now they all say, "Did you make make my grandma's mistake?" So what we accidentally skipped is uh, ooh, vial. Let me grab that. I can use the check command to get stuff that's under me. Let's actually uh, look at my level to see where that uh, that cheat code was. Uh, okay, interesting. So we got. Uh, looks like we've got a different weapon, and we've got fingernail. Some, yeah. A CD. Well, that's, poltergeist. Yeah, that's armor. Super uh, um, abbreviated. 
a drag wing, yeah. another CD, and um, Dawkins. Yeah, I don't even know. Nice. Magic Buster. Oh, we got an essence, so I, I can come back if I get killed. All right. So, what normally would have happened, we'd have gone through an overhead segment. We would have uh, gotten to this village, and we would have talked to this guy who looks an awful lot like a boss from Ghost and Goblins. And you talk to him, and he's like, when I have it, I will... Yeah. And he tells us to get, uh... The goblin stick that, uh, that he's lost. So... I don't know if it matters, but I'm gonna ex be at the top, because I want to be on the other side. There we go. I talk to this guy. I'm not one of them, no. I I'm one of the other ones. Yes. Yeah, this is what uh, resistance fighters looks like. Look like. Yeah, yeah. Others look different. Yeah. Oh, now I got fiery pits here. This is interesting. All right, so I can't go up that way. So. Yeah, so I've got some more wing power, so I can hover for longer. That is convenient. I just skip this whole pit section. Oh, that was, uh, yeah, that was not, not too bad. Uh-oh. That was the, the whole bridge segment. And go over and grab a vial. Oh, here's another thing you have to worry about, random battles. All right, so here, though, I'm going to try out a different weapon. Well, yeah, so that, that, guy, that guy's hit just But that damage. don't come back? Yeah, they're boomerang looking, but they're, uh, they do not come back. They're more like, but this is with like ghosts and stuff, so it's a boomerang. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's a boomerang. I probably should have... Oh, we got a talisman of the cyclone. Awesome. I think that will resurrect me or something. I don't know. All right, so yeah, let's let's go to this tower and uh, we'll see if I can get through the tower. I think that's where I got stuck last time I played the game. I didn't know uh, how to finish the tower. Like, I went through all through the thing and I uh, wasn't sure where the uh, end of the area oh, was. Oh dear, Arceus. I got a little lost. Get a vial. So, yeah, you get, you get stuff for beating these random battles. Vial. Uh, here we are. We're going to check. Oh, interesting. So did the password, like, already beat that, maybe? Perhaps? Yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking, thinking about, though, about the way they balance the weapons in this game. Some of them are better against certain enemies than others. So it's like there's no, it's not a situation where you get, oh, the best weapon, and then you just destroy everything. There are uh, actually you some... You can't just get the BFG? Yeah, you can't just get the best weapon and, and kill everything. There are... Uh... That's horribly inconvenient. Yeah. So you actually have to switch weapons. Oh. Oh, oh no, the, the regular, oh, no. the regular the KKK. Standard KKK. KKK. Oh no, oh. what shall we do? Yeah. Ah. Probably just murder them. Maybe you met. Here's where you die. Because I'm fine. I'm I'm totally fine. I did notice that uh, my health refilled after these uh, random battles. Woo! Fish monster creature thing. Yeah, done. Do 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 do. But up up. They do randomly seem to give you the uh, more difficult guys, but they don't actually seem to actually get you anything more, so it's... That's mean. Yeah, it seems like kind of a waste. I'm really liking this upgraded wing power. It's making things way easier. Oh, god, yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, go through here, does this kill me? It does not. Alright. Oh, but I bet falling to the bottom would... Oh, that's me. Oh, wait, what am I supposed to do there? 
You basically, I'm what I'm guessing is fly to the other side of the yeah. pit. Yeah. Grab on so and I have to do this. float down. Wait, but it let me kind of like jump up earlier, so that's a little. Uh, Quick, grab the wall. Woo! Woo! Dangerous. Danger zone. Okay. Oh, I made it. That was close. Yeah. And there's an item. Oh, but first I have to find something. Doodly 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 doodly. Ah, the shield guys. These guys are doing. Can't do them quickly. There we go. Oh, uh, you can uh, throw out multiple, uh, even if they're not actually boomerang, you can at least throw out multiple ones at the same. multi ranks. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's going to be neat. Ooh, hitboxes are weird almost. I flew right yeah. through his head and didn't take any damage. But you get near the spikes and you get hit. Even look at the spikes the wrong way. Yeah. You're just done. Capcom sure does like their deadly spikes. Mm. Talisman of the Cyclone. Good, good. So they're, uh, this isn't as bad as Mega Man where they kill you instantly. You got like a life meter in that game, but if you catch a bike, you're done. Oh, I'm accidentally grabbing the, uh, the ledge there when I don't want to, so I'm messing up my dodges, you know? Mmm. It's no bueno. There we go. Woo! Killed them, I killed them all. You maniacs! God damn you all the hell! You blew it up! Okay, so I go north. If you go north, you will across. find the palace! Good times. Ooh, dancing dragon. Yep. Hang on, come on. I heard he was killed by the destroyers. Oh, the most fun. original name for people that destroy big things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These like graves? I, that's, that's, a yeah, that's where Blue's Radicate's buried. Oh, yeah. Blockbuster. Alright, so that's one, of, yeah, that's one of the other weapons you get. And they're good against some weapons, but of course they can break blocks, so... Uh, you can use that stuff to... Uh, Make progress. Is it? Is this the same village? No. We ghouls can be revived by chanting the resurrection spells. Okay, so here's your password. Six hefba. This is how you normally get a password. That's how you chant that, by the way. Yes, yes, clearly. I like how he, he's, he's telling me that he's going to tell me after he he's already you, told me. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> that is fun. I just kind of, I do kind of wish you could just press A on these guys. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Yeah. I mean, it's not as bad as Dragon Quest where you had to like go to the menu to go downstairs. Uh, or okay, so this this is what Val is good for me. I can get, uh, I can exchange them for uh, for uh, the talismans that bring me back. The essence. Yeah. The, uh, you know, the, the talismans of the cyclone there. This is, I guess this is just there in the middle. That's interesting. Uh, so have I, I guess I've cleared the, uh, I think that's everything. Alrighty. So, uh, let's head north. Spooky tree. Oh. Oh dear. That guy's looking a little dangerous. No. Hey man, don't lose your head. Yeah, right? Am I doing damage to these guys? Oh dear. Hodor. Oh. Oh, you went Death Star. Yeah, I got wrecked. Get wrecked. It's okay though, I had that Soul Nato. There we go. Firebrand, let me test your strength! Okay. Oh, these guys again? I hope I got something good. Get to a lot of damage. Oh, oh that was no. dumb. Oh, no. 
awkward. I won that fight too. Except so did they. Yeah. Your body is here. Okay, let's try that again. My body is ready. Yeah. Not really. Uh, I gotta avoid those shots. They uh, do a lot of damage. Yeah, they do. Okay. And now I get it. Wait a second for it to register that I won. Oh. You get nothing. Yeah. You lose. Good day, sir. Good day. I guess I'm going this way. No snozberries for you. Nope. Oh, these guys again. I wonder if they're not... Are they not weak to this weapon? Do I have to use uh, the regular fireball on them, maybe? Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, that's a lot of damage too. Uh, yes, I won. Nice. I don't know if we've mentioned this yet, but uh, we you do get uh, you do get your health back when you finish a random battle. Uh, I found another village. That's exciting. Talk to these guys. I'm throwing in here. Oh, uh, you know, thing stuff. Yes, only had the wings of the falcon. The wings of the falcon? What? Yeah, I don't know. The Millennium the Millennium Falcon has no wings. No. It's a very round ship. Yeah, pretty much. Hey there! What are you doing? You're loafing around. I'll eat you. Interesting. Jeez. That's threatening. Yeah. Oh, really? Same thing. Oh, I'm waiting. What I'm doing is waiting for you to get out from in front of the door. Really? Everybody says the same thing? I guess they really don't like people that aren't productive. Yeah, so these the, uh, these are the guys that are supposedly... Uh, Traders or something? I saw some strange things under the huge tree above the palace. Maybe they are the wings of the falcon. Oh. Maybe they're that specific thing mm -hmm. that only the hero needs. So, do I already have them because the password we put in? Uh, this says wing. Perhaps. Or is this one of the things there that checking in front of it doesn't actually do anything until uh, until I've been told I need to? Because I hate that. I have no idea. Old Game Boy stuff is just... I haven't played them in so long. Yeah. Some of the weird mechanics of them, just I'm not there. Alright, well, it looks like I've uh, got another password. You already told me the words of this spell. I've already forgotten them. And you know what those words were? Hail Hydra. Yeah. I think so. Hi, uh, this village was not very useful. I'm going to continue in this direction. I may already have the, uh, the thing I need. Oh, I really wish this didn't start me facing the wrong direction. Alright, yeah, I won. It does seem to be one of the games where, uh, the closer you are to somebody, the faster you can fire. Like, you can have, uh... Really? Yeah, so this weapon looks like I can, I can have two shots on at the same time. I won't live long enough to use those wings, eh? Alright, so I'm guessing that I, I am, um, I'm good. Because he talked about me having the wings. Alright, uh, got one. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh... Whew. It's close. Oy vey. But I prevailed. Yeah, it's another one of those guys that do uh, two damage. Alright, so I'm guessing if I didn't have the wings, I wouldn't be able to glide long enough to get anywhere. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. I may be stuck. And nope. Alrighty. Well, 
Oh, are you kidding me? Random battle as soon as I uh, exited. Oh, hey. I didn't think that could happen. Well, anyhow, we've been we've been playing for a good amount of time, so I think we'll uh, we'll, we'll not trek all the way back to the tree to uh, find those wings. Yeah, it might be best. Yeah, so I think we will I think we will stop here. So yeah, that's not an easy game. No, not at all. <laughs> you needed cheat codes just to actually be making any progress. Yeah, uh, I mean, not that it's impossible, but you know, it gives you gives you some like tough platforming challenges. Oh, right from the start, the game does not mess around. No. Um, I do like that you know you have different weapons with different uses. I mean, we didn't really see much of it because we didn't get very far. But I mean, I've seen gameplay of later stages in the game. You have to constantly switch between your weapons to get past various obstacles. And uh, apparently, there are enemies that aren't weak to certain weapons, so you have to you have to mix it up. Ugh. I mean, you know, it's you know, more variety, so it's not just like, oh, I have yeah. the best weapon and now I can just blow through the game. So they, it, it, uh, like it, the whole series, like even starting from Ghost and Goblins, are known for just being hard. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely uh, designed to be a very challenging series. So it's, it's a question of like, you know, is this, is this difficult? Is this frustrating? Uh, it was difficult, but at least the part I was having, I, I don't think it was necessarily... I wouldn't say it was too frustrating. Too frustrating. So. At least... With the cheat code. Yeah. So if you're, you know, if you're in for a, if, if you're up for a challenging game. Can you get it anywhere mm -hmm. besides its original disc uh, or original cartridge? I think it has been released on Virtual Console. Let me double check. I have that written down. Yes. Yes. It is, uh, oh, just in Japan. Wait, no, international. So you can get it on 3DS Virtual Console. Oh, nice. So you can buy this. Buy it with money. I think they're actually, uh, I think they're all available on Virtual Console. So oh. obviously the system is going to change, you know, because like some things are available on 3DS, and some things are on Wii, some things are only on Wii U. Somewhere in the Virtual Console for Nintendo. It is, it is possible it's to there. get these games, yes. Which is good because I think most of them are pretty rare now. I'm mm. not sure about the Game Boy game. I, I feel like it's probably the easiest to get you a hold definitely of. Definitely did not spend very much time on the grow. Yeah. The uh, Gargoyles Quest 2 on NES is, uh, was very late NES release. It was like 92. <laughs> so uh, that one I think is a little, a little difficult to get. I, I definitely don't have it. Yeah. Um, I did manage to run, I did run across a copy of Demon's Crest. So uh, if people would like to see more of this series, uh, we can take that on later. You may also get a lot of footage. Of, <laughs> you may get a lot of footage of the first stage. <laughs> it's not easy. I remember the first time I played it, the boss just, like, I got to the boss. And Actually, he just punches I think you in the face. Yeah, he, he kind of rocked me right away. It was, it was bad. It was bad. It's just like that scene in X-Men Apocalypse and the dream sequence where Apocalypse just grows and puts his hand on it. Okay. You know what? You know, they've, they've By the time done. this airs, if you haven't seen X-Men Apocalypse, like, come on. Bambi versus Godzilla. Bambi versus Godzilla. There you go. That did not work out well for Bambi. <laughs> I remember that. I think they actually put it on like on a VHS tape. I have the VHS movie tape. That I watch. I have. I was like watching this and like they st it's like they put it before the movie it's like Bambi versus Godzilla. <laughs> I have the tape that is just that and one other short cartoon. Well, wow, it's uh, that seems like an inefficient use of video tape. I mean, I don't really remember what else is on it. I just remember that on a tape I had was Bambi versus Godzilla. Nice, nice. And. For those who haven't seen it, it's exactly what you think it's probably going to yeah. be. Yeah. It's a credit scroll while Bambi's. And then... It worked out better for Godzilla than the time he took on King Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Usually he wins. Also worked out better for Godzilla than the 2000, early 2000 American movie. I don't uh, think that worked out for anyone. No, no. I think that was actually late 90s. You were talking about the was one, it? Talking the one with Matthew Broderick in it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was late 90s. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah, so people um, people tend to call the monster from that uh, Gino, which is short for Godzilla in name only. Pretty much was. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with it if they called it something else. But uh, it's, it's, it's not Mega Godzilla. Lizard. Yeah, that, that'd be uh, fine. Is, is it totally... 
it was okay monster movie. It just was not Godzilla. No. But that has nothing to do with Gargoyle's Quest, which we think is pretty good, but really hard. Yes. There you go. Yes. But anyway, if you'd enjoyed us uh, <laughs> getting rocked at uh, Gargoyle's Quest, make sure you give this video a like. If you try to like to catch future episodes in which we play games that Perhaps probably we aren't don't quite suck as hard, at. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to our channel. I have been Dan Master, and you can catch me on Twitter at, at NewTypeCool. I'm Ian Butterfield. You can find me on Twitter at Ian G. Butterfield. You can find the show at RetroGameCNCT, Facebook.com backslash RetroGameConnect, and RetroGameConnect.tumblr.com. I still always want to say Facebook.com backslash RetroGameConnect.tumblr.com. Don't know what happens when you type that in. Your computer might implode. Yeah, it could be bad. I wouldn't recommend it. No, would not. Eight out of ten. Oh wait, what? What was it? <laughs> Seven point five out of ten. Too much water. Oh wow, that's. <laughs> Are people still harping on IGN for that? A little bit. Oh boy. Anyhow, mm. most importantly, make sure you join us next time on Retro Game Connect. <laughs>